Welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, Victoria's Secret. Are you guys excited? Well, I'm gonna give you guys a makeup look. I already did my foundation, my eyebrows. You wanna do your eyebrows as natural, the most natural as possible because those angels look really natural. Their skin is just glowing. They don't look like they have eyebrows on fleek. So, girl, let's get this started. Get my hair back. And like always, I'm gonna start with the Morphe palette, the 350M, my personal favorite. And we're gonna use... We're gonna use this shade next to the orange with the M433. And you wanna put that, you wanna start buffing it in the outer corner of the eye. Like so. You guys, this is a new camera. I'm so excited. It's the Canon 7X Mark G, 7X Mark II. Oh, so far so good. I literally have no lighting but a little lamp on top and it looks amazing! I wonder how it will look with like amazing ass lighting you guys. Anyways, you wanna buff it in slowly in circular motion until you get to the center but you wanna take your time with this you guys. You don't wanna look like a raccoon! And like I said you wanna start the outer corner of the eye and then slowly work your way towards like half the eye because the angels this year they actually have a wing liner because the makeup artist said since the angels are gonna have beautiful wings might as well have a wing liner so most of them got a wing liner we're not gonna use we're gonna make it as natural as possible, you guys, because the angels literally look like they have no type of eyeshadow on. This second lighter color of the palette. And we're gonna put it in the middle of the middle and beginning of your eyelid. And now, we're gonna grab the M4, M441 brush. It's an all-over blending brush, and we're gonna blend everything together, you guys. So it can look seamlessly. Very airbrushed. And like, you have very, very little eyeshadow, but still glammed up. Because we're glammies, you guys! Oh, and I did add some contacts. Because my favorite model, Miss Adriana Lima, she has beautiful grayish bluish eyes oh i'm trying to get her look blend everything together you guys now for a pop of color i'm gonna use the nyx the roll on shimmer so we're gonna put it it's best to apply it in your hand grab a brush and you're gonna lightly put it and your tear ducts for a pop of color and a little bit in the beginning of the eyelid and not I'm barely using any colors because we want to make this as natural as possible so this look can be you can use this look to work honey because we're not using that much product and we're making it as natural as possible and for the eyebrows I barely used any product you guys so it's everybody friendly. You're not gonna look like a clown. You're not gonna look like a, a a drag queen like me. So that's what's so versatile about this look. Anybody and a mama can do this look, you guys. So if you give me a second, I'm about to find my eyeliner. X black eye pencil. You're gonna put it on top of your lash line as eyeliner. And you don't have to be careful when you do this because we're gonna smudge it, you guys. So, if you mess up, it's all good. We're gonna put it halfway. We're not gonna line the whole eye. 
Only halfway, you guys. Now you want to grab a pencil brush. You're 36. We're going back to that Morphe palette. Oh, upside down, honey. The Morphe palette. I'm taking these middle colors. Well, this one actually, the first one. And we're going to smoke that eye out. Because it's supposed to be a wing liner. But it's going to be looking really smoky, you guys. So take your time, smoke that out. See? Grab more product if you need to. So you guys, this is what your eyes should look like. I smoked it out, it looks really smoky, but yet again, you have a little liner going on. So it looks really good. Now you wanna dust. So, uh, a really really light color or whatever's your favorite color for your brow bone I'm taking this really white color I love it it's like a um, a milky white so I'm grabbing that pencil brush and to connect the eyeshadow in the bottom I'm gonna add that brown we used for the top with this one and I'm gonna add a little bit of this one because we use both colors in the eyelid and we're gonna put some on the lower lash line to connect it and it's gonna look really pretty and smoky I'm very victorious for you guys and now this step is optional you can add eyelashes, I know I am, but you don't have to do this step with some simple mascara. You'll be set to go and curling your lashes, but I'm a little extra, I know. I was watching interviews with the models and they said they got lashes on, so I'm gonna do that. I'll be right back, you guys. So you guys, I put on my lashes. They, they're really natural looking. I still have to curl them and put some mascara, but my eyelashes are dry, drying. <laughs> drying right now, so I'm gonna move on with my face. I'm taking this Maybelline pressed powder in the color Golden 05. And I'm taking this Morphe M523 brush. There you go. And I'm using this to highlight the areas of my face that need to be a little brightened up. Moving on to contour. My favorite of all time is the L'Oreal True Match CA Coco. This e.l.f. angled brush. And we're gonna contour for the gods because the angels have chiseled uh, cheekbones unlike my fat ass <laughs> so take your time and they look really golden and natural so don't go too overboard either so lightly dust in product at a time slowly build it up so to further contour you guys I'm going back with that 350M palette and this angled E4 brush and I'm taking these two colors in the middle grabbing just a little powder and dusting it in the contour area just to give it more depth but we're moving back to eyes so to make what I do to make this look, these eyelashes blend in with my natural eyelashes, I you have to curl your lashes, you guys. It's really important. So I'm gonna take your eyelash curl. I'm gonna just look myself in the mirror because I don't want to pinch my eye, you guys. Sorry if you can't see me. I think the eyelashes are, and you want to give it a little curl. Little curl. So you guys, I curled my lashes and they look a hundred times better. Now I'm going with the greatest lash, black is oh, it fell. <laughs> the black is black, and we definitely 
need to put some mascara on your natural lash and the fake lash to disguise it and they're gonna look like they're your own you guys what I do is I grab my finger and it pinches the eyelash and you can apply this mascara so much easier and it doesn't hurt your eye that's one of my little tricks or you can use a little cardboard or a credit card but I like using my finger just when you use your finger, make sure you have a wipey because then you're gonna forget and you're gonna smudge that finger on your face. And then you're gonna have mascara all over your face. I did that one time, but I learned my lesson. And I'm extra careful. So see, they look so natural now. And I'm only doing it halfway, you guys. Not on the full lash, just halfway. And then you wanna do it on your bottom lash line, of course. Just a little bit. Be careful, take your time. Because you get easily mess up this look. So I'm taking this roll on shimmer and I'm using it as a highlight today because it is so pigmented. My camera will focus a little. It's so pigmented, you guys. Tori's Secret makeup artist and Kendall Jenner herself said they use a little rosy... They use rosy lips. So I'm using this Victoria's Secret lipstick. And this one's in the color Party Ready. To make my lips really glossy and pink. And I'm just using a light pot a little bit and with my finger dab it in. And there we go. So we're moving on to hair. So I'm gonna take these clips off and we're gonna do the hair. But this is basically the makeup look. Really simple. Anybody can do it. So now let's get ready for the hair. So we're gonna get a brush and brush this hair and take these clips off. This is a wig, by the way. So I'm combing it through. This is literally what I have to do. I'm not a hair professional. So you guys do it the way you do it. And I'm using a flat iron because that's the only thing I have to give you some curls. I'm section these two. And I'm taking my flat iron. I'm gonna flat iron it a little bit because this is a wig. It's not a human hair wig, but it's a heat resistant. And if you guys know anything about wigs, you can set it to 350. And I don't recommend anything higher because it'll burn your hair. So. And we're gonna wrap the curl towards us. So we can go get those bouncy curls. We're gonna leave it there for a couple seconds. This time, there's the curl. I'm gonna set it with some hairspray. And you wanna do this to the rest of your hair until you're finished. So I'm gonna speed this up. So you guys, this is what one side curled looks like. And this is what the other one not curled looks like. So you want to keep going until you finish the whole look. You want those big bouncy curls but not too tight. Really loose. Really slowly. So let me finish and we'll see the final product. This is the finished look. We got some big bouncy curls. Really wavy. Really playful. And... It goes really well with this makeup, very Victoria's Secret with the contacts and it's a really neutral eye with some lashes on or you could not use the lashes if you don't want to, you don't have to. The eyebrows are very natural 
with just a little pink gloss, a little bronzer, highlight, because we want to get that glow within, and this is the whole look. So, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and by the way, like I said, I'm filming from a new camera, so... Thank you, you guys. I'm always trying to up my game with this channel, giving you everything I got. And I'm so ready to see this Victoria's Secret fashion show as soon as I'm done filming. I'm going to go watch it. So thank you, guys. Mwah. Hopefully, I look a little bit like one of the angels. And have a good night. And if you see the show, comment or I don't know. Do you, boo? So I'm going to go to my friend's house and I'm going to go see that show. I'm going to film over there too, so. Love you guys. Enjoy this look. Try it at home. And besito. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. So we're actually watching the fashion show. I'm at my bestie's house. <laughs> my hair looks a mess. We're eating Cheetos. I'm watching the skinny. We're watching the skinny bitches. Do I want some? Feel. They look really good. On the next episode of Tackle My Rock, Mark Whitley and James Thorne. Ooh, look at that. Nigga. I mean, stud. That's the nigga. Anyway, that's that's Joe. Follow him on all his social media at Bala and Man. Bala and Boy. Really? I go by Sebastian. There you go. I supply the passion. Oh my God! I like how you been. We're sipping on some wine. I'm watching this fashion show. But it's starting, so we gotta let you go. Y'all take care and like my videos, please. Mwah. Bye.